Welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Guys, today I am doing a very specific test that I was requested to do on its own. This is a test just basically looking at the ray tracing capabilities of the Alienware OEM RTX 3080 Ti. So the 3080 Ti versus the XFX RX 6900 XT Black Edition. So Speedster Mac 319 whole detail. If you want the full review of the Alienware or the SFX card it'll be coming up on to the right hand side of the screen i've also done a normal gaming test that you guys had requested that had no ray tracing test in it so that'll come up after this and i have also changed how i do the reviews now i don't look into the slides per every single slide and talk you through it i'll just read, let you guys look at it and in the end i'll come back and comment about it Okay, guys, that's basically it. So let's look at the average. I've got it in two lots. So first slide I've got is just ray tracing. The second one, I'll have it with all the gimmicks turned on like the DLSS or FSR. So look at like looking at the ray tracing capabilities of the 3080 Ti, you guys can appreciate it's nearly punching on par with the 3090, which is very, very impressive in 4K. It beats the 6900 XT and the black, even the black, edition which is quite powerful compared to the reference 6900 xt but it still beats it by about 10 frames which is really impressive to see when we move on to 2k results the gap is even bigger so the 3080 ti against the black 6900 xt you see a nearly 15 frame difference let's go on to dlss and fsr the, looking at the average for 4k with dlss and fsr turned on for each of the graphic cards we can see that nvidia cards are better the 3080 ti is 115 frames okay while the black card is 96 that is a massive 20 frame difference when we go to 2k we see an even bigger difference of nearly 50 frames between the 6900 and the 3080 ti now what i want you guys to consider one the 3080 ti hasn't dropped in price at all the 3080 ti i'm still as of the review being done today Today is June okay I've recorded this in the end of June 2022 and the 3080 Ti is still priced in Australia at 1699 okay so that's Australian dollars a, a AIB 6900 XT I saw for a low of 1159 so that's a no-brainer in that case I would go for the 6900 XT even with the lower performance the price difference way massive that's one thing to consider the second thing to consider 
uh, for some reason in Australia, the XFX 6900 XT costs about $2,400, okay? Whereas in the US, I saw it as a low as $899, okay? This was both on Newegg's website. So Newegg's Australia was selling at $2,400 Australian dollars. And you guys might be thinking the exchange rate. No, the exchange rate should only compute to about $1,299 Aussie dollars based on the $899 maximum, absolute maximum. Maximum. You guys might be asking, why wouldn't you import one? Import importing one would probably be hit with import fees because it will go over the 1,000 Australian dollars. From memory, we have a 1,000 limit on electronics, so if it's costing below 1,000 dollars Aussie, you can get it imported for free. But if it's more than that, you'll have to pay tax. 8.99 in Australian dollars would be more than 1,000, so you'll pay more than that. So I that's a deal breaker for the XFX in Australia. But if you're in the US, that that makes a lot of sense so you got to look at the price difference between these cards another thing to consider the alienware oem look at go look at the review of this card that i've done it's i'm not too impressed by it so if you get can get your hand on any aib 3080 ti it'll probably be if not better the same as this and if it's better it might be better by another five frames i'm not sure because the black is easily better than the reference 6900 xt by about five frames frames in every single test that I've done. Now, given that, it, if you're just wanting something that's really cool, the 3080 Ti makes a lot of sense. The 3090 doesn't because it's a whole lot more and there's for gaming, there's a lot of issue with the memory at the back not being cool properly. Of course, you can have the arg argument of going for the 3090 Ti, but that's co costing a lot. I saw it for about 2,500 Australian dollars uh, at the lowest uh, and it got sold out. But having said that, that's nearly as much as the black 6900 XT and in that case I would go for that because that's a much better card but for gaming I think the 3080 Ti just hits the sweet spot with the VRAM the VRAM on the 3080 is 10 it's not that much 12 is perfect nice and future proof I don't see games demanding much more than that in the next couple of years and the 16 gigs of VRAM on the 6900 XT is too much now I am thinking of doing a comparison of DLSS and FSR but if you are looking at ray tracing alone then I would still get the 3080 Ti but if you're looking at DLSS and FSR so what I did was I was playing a few games such as Cyberpunk 2077 and Deathloop and a few other games and what I did was like I on the same exact system I played with the 3080 Ti with DLSS turned on and I played for a day or two then I pulled out the 3080 Ti out of the system put the black 6900 XT gave the graphics gave all the drivers a fresh start installed all the drivers is fresh played with it it's a lot more fuzzier even with no dlss and just normal playing no ray tracing no dlss the graphics were a bit fuzzier especially when you turn on fsr if you turn fsr from ultra quality to any preset like quality or performance and stuff it gets really really fuzzy there's artifacting going on there's shadows are all everywhere you know there's if somebody's there's shimmering going on so where's where the things would shine so in that sense dlss is the king in my opinion and in my experience and i uh, there might be an amd fanboys out there that get offended by this and i appreciate that uh, look i got for my personal use a sfx 6900 xt at the time when it was costing nearly two thousand dollars so i went amd i went amd cpu on my gaming system that i am using personally so i want the underdog to do better but when the underdog is getting whooped like this with coming out with FSR. Yes, FSR is great if you've got an old GPU. Yes, FSR is a nicety to have in the face of DLSS. But when you're comparing the best card, the 6900 XT against something like the 3080 Ti, and you're going, I've got FSR, and thinking that that's the same as DLSS, it's not. DLSS is so much sharper and clearer. It day and night, the difference. You guys have to try it out. I'll try and incorporate some videos as well, and you guys can look at it and make a decision yourself. But anyways that's basically it from me guys i hope this video gave you a bit of an idea so if you're just wanting the best rt experience with dlss and clarity i'd get the 3080 ti but if you want something cheaper i'd just find a 6900 xt aib version if you can get the sfx card for around 1100 dollars aussie dollars that's a great buy but if you can't then i would get some other aib the 6900 xt is a really good card if you're not using rt it still 
still has a bit of fuzziness and the dr driver support isn't as good as nvidia but the price difference is massive i'd look at the rtx 3080 if i wanted but the rtx 3080 isn't as powerful as the 3080 ti the 3080 really takes the ball up to another level all right guys thanks so much for watching it to the end i hope you enjoyed it take good care bye bye